Hello Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading for February 3rd through the 10th. As you can see things look a little different today. We're doing a different spread just for fun. Let's look at the stones that came out for you today was obsidian which is protective repels negativity helps with manifestation and our bear came back to visit the soapstone which is calming stimulates ambition produces movement and is malleable and we have calcite which is empathetic tune into your emotions this is red calcite and you can see that this is not a polished piece but you can tell just how shiny and, and smooth it is it almost feels oily very interesting it helps you to express your needs this is green calcite And it also helps you get back in the flow and dissolves old beliefs. Your rune this week is the Healing and Dreaming Rune, La Goose. La Goose means water, flowing water, invisible forces at work. It helps with creativity, intuitive knowledge, the healing power of renewal. Okay, so let's look at your cards. You got the hour of power, ritual of joy. It is time to celebrate. That is awesome. The snake, again, shed the old skin, the old beliefs. That's what your rune says as well. And that's what your calcite says. Dissolve the old beliefs. Beliefs about yourself, beliefs about what you were taught, beliefs about the world. Work through your fears. Do you have fears or self-doubts that are holding you back, maybe? And White Raven Spirit reminds you to trust in the magic. Okay, and then we have the Stone People card. Awesome. Records and knowing revealed. So the, your stones will really help you this week. Pay attention to them. Use them. Get them out if you've put them away. Um, do whatever you need. Sleep with them. Hold them. Wise one, grow within your current situation. Not every situation is perfect. In fact, none are. But you can grow within and learn from that situation. Prosperity lies ahead. Yay, that one's always a good one. And then we have Bob's Bobcat which is life is a mystery you do not need to know all of the answers go with the flow okay ah and then we have the shaman's death card so interesting i just did a deeper look on this card so if you have more questions you can go to that video but it is about death and rebirth, a new beginning. The old has gone away, and rebirth is assured. High Priestess, harness your mystic power. You do have power within you. Every single person does. The end of a tough cycle approaches. And that's why it's time to celebrate. 
And we have chameleon spirit. Act as if. So maybe you're not 100% comfortable in your new rebirth, but act as if you are. And it will just become normal for you. These were awesome cards, especially the Hour of Power. Remember to use your stones this week. It's important. You got the man in the maze. You remember that? So Aha is watching over you. And if things get a little complicated this week, ask for his assistance. And he will help you find your way through the maze. Okay, so we're going to place our stones. We have obsidian, which is um, repels negativity. We're going to put that one on work through your fears. And then we have our little bear, which produces movement. I'm going to put that on the snake. You've gotten the snake quite a few times. And that's where you need to really let go. Okay, and then we have our calcite, which is all about empathy and tuning into your emotions, dissolving old beliefs. Get back in the flow. Let's put that one on, act as if. Act as if you're already there. Okay, and then we had the rune, which was Laguz, the rune of healing and water. Dreams. Let's put that on the ritual of joy, the hour of power. Enjoy that time. You deserve it. Okay, and your quote from the week for the week is. Only from the heart can you touch the sky. So I hope you enjoyed your reading this week, Pisces. Have a wonderful week. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.